Hi, I'm Roger Peterson. Welcome back to Pro 423. It's time to wrap up this section on discovering the heart with just four, four ideas, four points that I think will bring some clarity and send us off to our next section. The first one is this, is as we looked at the heart, tried to understand it and looked at um, injuries that our heart has sustained and felt pain and all the pressure and tension. And my whole point in looking, looking at those things was not to find someone to blame. I'm not trying to blame the parents. I'm not trying to blame our elementary school teachers. I'm not trying to blame our early boyfriends and girlfriends. I'm simply trying to understand the heart and understand how we got where we are. Socrates said, the unexamined life is not worth living. I think he's right. I just want to examine my life. I want to examine my heart. I want to see what's going on so I can understand it. That's it. I'm not trying to blame anybody. I want to understand it. Second of all, I want to revisit the idea that I think there's two key elements to abundant life. We all know about the one that we grew up with, going to church. Try harder. Try harder to abide and to obey and to read and to pray and to attend church and to submit. And those are all great things. Wonderful things. Wonderful spiritual disciplines that are important to a walk with God. But I want to add the idea that there might be a second element that we also need to be careful of. And that's the human heart that we brought into our relationship with God. The human heart we were born with and told to guard. That's a key element too. How's it doing? Not just how's your walk with God doing, but how's your human heart doing? Is it healthy? Okay. Two key elements to that. The third point I want to make, and I need you to listen carefully because I don't want to be misunderstood, is the reason why I emphasized human the reason why I emphasize the fact that when Solomon said your heart is the wellspring of life, he was talking to humans. Every human, your heart is the wellspring of your life, whether you become a Christian or not. Every human, guard your heart, because it's going to become the wellspring of your life, whether you become a Christian or not. Guard your heart. And the reason why I say that is because I'm not so sure that the answer to an a heart that's been left unguarded and damaged and not producing love, joy, peace, I'm not so sure that the answer is primarily spiritual. If it's a human heart, maybe it's, there's a human solution. I'm not saying God doesn't want to be a part of it, and God doesn't want to be uh, involved in the whole thing. I mean, for, think about your teeth. If you come up with a tooth that's in bad need of repair, it, it's good to pray. But I think you should primarily pray for a good dentist to go to. Right? It, it's good. It's fine. God can heal your tooth. But if He chooses not to heal your tooth, I would say let Him just lead you to a good dentist. Same idea with your heart. If your heart has been damaged, if your human heart has been damaged, if it's not the, your, your wellspring that's producing great things anymore, maybe it's not primarily a spiritual problem. Maybe it's a human problem because it's your human heart. Maybe God simply wants, to guide, simply wants to guide you to a good counselor. Maybe you should just pray for a great counselor to go to. Okay? I'm not trying to say God can't heal it. God can heal it. Please, God, heal all of our hearts. But if you choose not to heal our hearts and help it to produce those things it's supposed to produce, please, God, lead us to a good counselor and help us to work on the health of our human heart. Okay? And the last point that I want to make is this. We want to understand the heart because it's key. Understanding the heart is key to guarding the heart. Well, the next key to guarding the heart, if you understand your heart and understand that it's not healthy, then the very next step to guarding your heart really well is to get your heart healthy. And that lines up really well with the next section, recovering your healthy heart.